Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna do the Harry Potter sorting quiz. So I've seen like, I don't know, like 80 or 85% of booktubers do these kind of videos, but I've never actually watched one. So I was like, so right now I'm currently reading the sixth book of the Harry Potter series. Yes, I know, I should have already read the books. This is also my first time reading it. So yeah, I feel kind of guilty that I still haven't wrapped up the series, but I'm a huge fan. I've seen all the movies, like at least. And this year I'm gonna go to Orlando and go to the wizardly world of Harry Potter. And I'm gonna buy a lot of shit that I actually don't need, but I just really want. So I'm super excited about that. I have taken like a couple of sorting quizzes before, but not like the one from Pottermore or something like that. I don't know what this sort of quiz is actually from. I ugh, I gotta do my research a lot better, guys. I feel like 70% of the quizzes told me that I was from Ravenclaw and like 25% told me that I was from Gryffindor and like 5% told me I'm from Hufflepuff. So, still not too sure what I am, but let's figure out this quiz because I need to know what house I'm in to, you know, buy all that shit from the Wizardly World of Harry Potter, so... Let's start with the video. <laughs> so I already made like a Pottermore account like three years ago, but I definitely forgot my username and password. So I just made a new account. I verified my email. So let's find out what Hogwarts house I'm in. I'm kind of nervous because I feel like I belong to the Ravenclaws because I, I don't know. I just feel like I belong there because most of the times I've been put into Ravenclaw, but maybe I'm going to be super surprised. So be sorted and discover your house. The sorting ceremony. Answer truthfully, after all, the hat's decision is final. So begin the experience. <laughs> okay, wait, what? Dawn or dusk? So like dawn is when the morning is coming and dusk is when the, okay, definitely dawn. How would you like to be known to history? The wise, the good, the great, or the bald? So I feel like I would love to be the good I think I want to be the good. One of your housemates has cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelling quill. Now he has come to the top of the class in charms, beating you into second place. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of what happened. He draws you to one side after his lesson and asks you whether or not your classmate used a forbidden quill. What do you do? Okay, so first, lie and say you don't know, but hope that someone else tells Professor Flitwick the truth. Definitely not that one, I hate that. The second choice, tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate and resolve to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth, the truth, the truth, you will. Or the third one, tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If your classmate is prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. Also, as you are both in the same house, any points he loses will be regained by you for coming first in his place. And then the last choice, you would not wait to be asked to tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If you knew that somebody was using a forbidden quill, you would tell the teacher before the exam started. I definitely won't lie that I don't know, but I feel like I would tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate. Like, oh, I don't know. I just don't really like betraying people, even though they are doing the wrong, even though they are cheating. This one is so hard. I think that I would definitely tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask my classmate. Which of the following do you find the most difficult to deal with? Hunger, cold, loneliness, boredom, being ignored, or hunger again? Oh wait, <laughs> there are five choices. Okay, definitely not hunger. Like, I don't know, if I just had to choose one of these, which is the most important, it's definitely not hunger. I do have a hard time dealing with cold because I get cold super quickly, so I don't know, maybe that one. Loneliness, I don't feel like I'm really lonely. I have quite a lot of friends, but I also like to spend my time alone. So boredom is definitely not something that is hard to deal with for me because I just read a book or just watch Netflix or, you know, something like that. Um, being ignored, that is something that I absolutely hate. I hate being ignored by people. It's not that it happens like all the time, but I do hate it. Being ignored is definitely harder to deal with than the cold. Select. Four boxes are placed before you. Which would you try and open? The small tortoise shell box? Oh, that's like, okay, okay. Embellished. I don't know if I'm pronouncing these words correctly because they're kind of hard to for me to pronounce, but I'll do my best. So again, the small tortoise shell box embellished with gold inside, which some small creature seems to be squeaking. Sounds interesting. I like that one. The gleaming jet black box with a silver lock and key marked with a mysterious rune that you know is the mark of Merlin. Definitely not that one. I'm scared of that shit. It doesn't look appealing to me, so I don't think I would choose that one. The ornate golden casket standing on clawed feet whose inscription warns that both secret knowledge and unbearable temptation lie within. Whew, unbearable temptation is not something that I really want to check out, so maybe not that one. The small pewter box, assumingly and plain, 
Oh, unassuming and plain, with a scratch message upon it that reads, I open only for the worthy. Okay, ooh, I'm like really flicked between the last one and the wall with like a small tortoise shell box embellished with gold. Like that sounds so beautiful. But then again, you know, when something says, I open only for the worthy, mm, it's kind of like scary because maybe it won't open for you, but you know, it's kind of interesting. I think I'm gonna do that one. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Jesus Christ, I see like 10 options there. <sighs> okay, a tabby cat, Simi's cat. Are they gonna choose all different cats? Like, I don't know what cat is what cat, so I'll have to look up pictures on Google. Okay, ginger cat, black cat, white cat, Tawny owl, screech owl, brown owl, snowy owl, Barn Owl. Jesus Christ, a common toad, definitely not a toad. I hate those things. That a no, no toad. I won't pick a toad. So, okay, again, all the toad options are gone because I don't like toads. I would either pick, oh, I don't know. I think I would pick an owl because they are so handy. Like they can send all these letters to people and they're super cute. So I think, I also love like snow owls. Like I love Hedwig. Like she's just so adorable, that white cute owl. So I think I pick a snow, snowy owl. What are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? A partiation and dispersion? Being able to materialize and determalize at will. Trans transfiguration, turning one object into another object. Flying on a broomstick, hexes and jinxes. All about magical creatures and how to befriend care for them. I'm sorry, Hagrid. Nah, not really my thing. <laughs> Secrets about the castle or every area of magic I can. Like, I love everything, but I thought that there was gonna be like the, how do you call it in English? Like the dark arts. Oh my god, I I know I obviously know it, but I just don't know Ugh. defense against the dark arts. Like I would love to have that, but it's not standing there. But let's say every area of magic that I can, because magic, it's magic, it's Hogwarts. Like, why would you not want to learn everything? Okay, maybe not the history, but heads or tails? Heads or tails? Um, heads, I guess. I what does this have to do with Harry Potter? Oh! Wow, guys, okay, I know my answer to the quiz, and I'm pretty sure that this is like, right now, this is my sorting house, and I can't really take any other quizzes because it is just what it is, and I'm very happy with it. I have been sorted into, can you guys see it? Ravenclaw, yay! I hope that there are more people out there who are from Ravenclaw. I mean, I'm really happy with it, and I definitely want to support my Hogwarts house. I'm like not super, like, brave as someone from Gryffindor. I'm not bad like someone from Slytherin, but I'm not like super sweet as someone from Hufflepuff. So let me know in the comments down below what Hogwarts house you are sorted in because I want to know if there are more Ravenclawers out there. Is that how you say that? I have no clue. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!